All right, so this is uh, episode five of Stubbs the Zombie. Some information about since last video, the last video was released. Uh, for some reason, I was getting a, um, a minimum video card requirements wasn't met after, for whatever reason, I have no idea. So the only way I could find to fix it was to download another guy's save files who had completed the game. And once I had deleted my save files and installed his, the game booted up just fine. Num number two, you may realize that the uh, aspect ratio is a little bit different. I installed a widescreen fix, so we should be playing at 920 by 1080. Um, so because because of one of the issues with um, uh, with the save file, now instead of just continuing where we left off, I have to go and select the level that we're at, which is fine. We just completed the fall of the House of Otis, and we're on to when the zombie breaks. Let's do it. Tough. Tough was what we were playing. Welcome to the Punch Bowl Dam, where our motto is, damn it. Okay. Let's see. Can we restart the level? I want to see the... Uh, there we go. Remember what you are supposed to do. Yes, drop the antibacterial solution in the main treatment basin and activate the agitators to ensure that the water supply is untainted. Don't screw it up. If you're so concerned, why don't you do Try it? not to say that. Try not to say that. I really want to be right now. It's hot in Texas. That's the sheep that we saw at the end of uh, Otis's episode. You may also see that um, the no commentary version does not have the last episode. It accidentally got deleted while it was uploading. So only the uh, the commentary version for episode 4 is there. Which I apologize for. Welcome I suppose, to the Punch Bowl Dam, where our motto is, damn it. I suppose I could upload the no commentary or the commentary version in place of that one, but then it wouldn't be a no commentary playlist. So, what's this? What, a hippo? What? I'm Alex Ropian, project director. Studs. Oh. I'm Christopher MacArthur, a programmer. Yeah, Christopher and I basically did this damn level together. I I, I kind of did a first pass and then. Uh, I didn't realize this was a thing. Picked up all my mess and made it good. Originally, in the beginning here, there was that tour bot kind of gives you a, a tour of this area of the dam, and uh, the robots hit on her and stuff. <laughs> we, we took out of some of the her dialogue because it was just you know robots get in the way can of be kind of chatty. Yeah, a little they? too chatty. Yeah. Got in the way of some of the fighting sounds. There's a, how many lines of dialogue would you estimate there is in the combat dialogue? There's a lot of combat dialogue. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I remember we had to take some lines out of the robots because I'm gonna try and uh, avoid these going like forward. Eight robots, and they each have uh, they each have a full set of triggers. There are 75 megs worth of combat dialogue for the robots alone. And that's not even their special case dialogue. You can't stop it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Why are we hanging out here? We don't drink water. It's part of the programming. Yeah, but why? Probably because this is where humans like to congregate. These are incredibly and existential robots. Why are we standing here? Oh, part of our programming. Yeah, but why? through this level already, but the the recording didn't get recorded for some reason. But I set the recording correctly this time. I hope. Oh god. Ugh. Oh damn it, I wanted to eat his brain. No! I actually don't know how long the fart kind of lasts. Just don't hit the robot. 
robots because man they hurt and they don't die We need to uh, we need to uh, organize ourselves. Don't attack them. No, don't don't follow me. Go that way. Yes, exactly. Don't hit the robot, damn it! I didn't mean to hit the robot. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me.
Okay, so um, I could have done the same thing over here, it looks like. No, don't hit the robot. You never know when disaster may strike. Bloody hell. Now, what does a bloody blue screen mean? Does anyone know? It's the bloody screen of death. Bugger off, I'm working. Look, if I don't get this bloody antibacterial solution in the bloody treatment basin, some zombie could just walk up here, have a wee, and then we're all done for as soon as tea time rolls around. Good idea. Oh, whoops. Something inside my mind. It's chewing my brain! My brain! Excuse me. Oh, I can't get through that door yet. Okay. And for all we know, he can come here. So we have got to be on our guard But more importantly, sir, in a minute, Cub. I can't fight it. Just sometimes this gun doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I never thought much of that one anymore. Oh, great. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Alright, got my hand back. There we go. Okay, How the hell you hurt? Oh. And don't eat me! No, no, no! Nice. No. We're all filled up. Come here. I have no ethics. I will zap you into oblivion. Well, hey, that's the wrong game. We are not no playing right any of the Elder Scrolls games right now. That's later. Okay, let's try something real quick. I am not a violent man. Not this violent anyway. What does this take me? Okay, so it just goes through here. I see. I noticed this during my last playthrough. But it actually doesn't really give me much of anything. Not now, anyway. Okay, let's go back. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Why can't I pick up this goddamn gun, man? Boom, gun, boom. Okay, so this door opened up. Were there still two guys in here? Yes. Could someone assist me in a mouth? I'll show you! Hard science! Okay, now... There we go. There's another hippo head. So my problem is I use a Kinesis keyboard, which means my space bar is technically on the other side of the keyboard than my WASD hand. And uh, I usually remap jump to either backspace or delete. But right now, my settings have changed. So I have to take my hand off my mouse to jump, and that's... No estabi in. Alright, this part's kinda difficult.
Warning. Water contamination detected. Isolate and remove contaminants immediately. He's defiling the water supply. Well, your face is defiling this environment. Yes, I hear them. I'm gonna wait for a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Stop shooting me! Oh man. I'll show you what for. God damn, you guys hurt. Stop hitting me! Nice. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Contamination level at 25%. Put the fire out. Review this. Oh, my brain. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. God damn it. There we go. Okay. Zombies, not me. Uh. Oh. Uh. Don't eat me. No, 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 no. Ah. Ah. Wow. Wow. Contamination level at 50%. Unacceptable filth level. Damn it, I always I tap it too many times. Damn 
No, don't shoot me. I hate that gun, man. Come on, 75%. Contamination level yeah. at seventy-five percent. All right. Total oh pollution God. imminent. Damn it! Fucking piece of shit. God, I hate that gun. Hundred percent. Come on, we're almost there. Just focus on the other zombies, not on me. Oh god. Contamination level critical. Toxin detection system overload. Yeah. Oop, there's a puppy dog behind me. All right. This part was difficult too, Jesus Christ. difficult. I see. All of my strength! Body dog is a threat! Stay away! They've got me! I'm cold! God, I hate 
hate it. Get out of my way. Do it this way. Take your hand off, dude. He's taking control. Go that way. My brain! Shit. Gotta get out of here. Okay. Shit, man. Deal that motherfucker with that goddamn gun. Oh, and these two motherfuckers too. I don't think I have to kill everybody. I think I made that mistake last time. Get him. And the devil's on me! I'm gonna start off at the very beginning. Oh no, good, thank god. Destroy the Scott John. Destroy the zombie scourge! Just run, just run, just run, run! Run! Get out! Ah. Yes. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. All right. He totally didn't even notice his friend spraying blood everywhere. Oh, 
So this door's gonna open up. Oh, I think I need to hit all of the all three of those. No! No! Okay. There we go. It's more difficult than you think to try and uh, take your hand off the mouse to, to jump. I really need to fix that before the next episode. Alright. Guys need to be taken care of sooner rather than later. Shoot me! Shoot the other zombies! Alright, I'm just leaving. Attention all damn personnel. We have worries. The power coil is overloading. Make sure none of those things step inside the breaker boxes. If they overload the breakers, the entire damn could... Well, try not I think this is a bug because I'm in widescreen. Because it's not supposed to... He, he's stretching out past the uh, TV boundary. between the breaker terminals and completing the circuit, and that's just insane. Oh, no! Excuse me? flying dudes up here too and man they pissed me the hell off those aren't the flying dudes I'm talking about it's some more of those uh, acapella dudes CMP was just flying. Oh god. Okay, so what I need to do here is... Jesus fuck! Oh my god. There, yeah, you just get inside that. 
The only way I figured out how to kill these guys is to like run over them once they get super low to the ground. Why did I take But I feel like I could. There's an easier way to do it. And I don't know what it is. Why do I bother with this charade? Did I kill one of those dudes already? It seems like it, because there was two last time I played. Come on, man, get low. Why do I bother with this charade? Oh yeah, there you go. All right. Exit. All right. Shit, I think that explodes. I need to go create some more zombies so that they will put themselves in the uh, thing. There's some dudes. Or a dude. Come on! This. Oh. Ah! All right, it's one. We lost those down there too. Should probably go and get the hover truck, but I, uh, we'll see what happens down here. Shambler in the world. All right. Put yourself in that thing. Or one of those guys can. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Let's go back up. I think there's still one more we need to get going again. Oh, I think there's like three rounds of this. I can't remember. I hope not. I hope it just... Two rounds was it and I just fucked it up the first time. Hey, come here. Hop in, please. Thank you. So these hover cars feel a lot like the Banshee or the uh, the other hover thing from Halo. Oh, these guys, come on, man. You're killing my dudes. Guys, they need to fucking die. Oh god! Oh, 
I want to run you motherfuckers over. Come on, get low. Touch the ground. Yeah. Oh god. I forgot that happens. This motherfucker here. Come here. Where are you at? Why did I take stupid job? I wonder if I just prevented him from getting down. Come on. Hit the ground. Need to wait for some scientists so that I can eat their faces and stick them into here. I think they're probably going to be up up there though. Let's go. Yep, here they are. I hate how slow I move sometimes when I'm shot. Hey, I only need three dudes. Cause that one's still growing over there. There we go. Okay. You two are gonna hop in the back of this hover car. Get in. Come on, hop in. There we go. One more, please. Hurry. I know you can only shamble so fast. There we go. All right. The ghost and the banshee? I can't remember. I haven't played Halo in 10 years. Come on, dude. There you go. Zombie alone. This is Chuck Chumley of the Punchbowl Action Chuck News. Trumley. A breaking story from the Punchbowl Dam where the zombie who's been terrorizing the city is apparently cornered. Our roving reporter, Jimmy Nesbitt, is on the scene now and reporting live by telephone. Jimmy. Oh, God, help me! I don't want to die! <laughs> we, uh, appear to be experiencing some interference. I'm sure Jimmy will be, uh, back soon uh, with his full report. This just in, Punchbowl Action News, your source for the news as it happens, has received a report of a 200-foot column of putrescent water approaching the... What the fuck? Oh, 
All right. We're going to call the episode after this, since we're in a new area. This Monday. I think it might be best if we all left town for a while until the authorities get things. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Monday here. Uh, no, no, don't stand up. It's been a trying day. I want you all to know that I'm as shocked by these strange and terrible events as anyone, uh, especially the flash flood, which has cost me millions in property damage. Property damage? Andrew, how can you worry about that when people are dying? <laughs> Hey. Uh, anyway, folks, it sure has been rough. I, I, I won't deny it. But Punch Bowl will rise above these Hope minor calamities. I invite everyone to calm down. Just take a deep breath and enjoy the rest of your day in Punch Bowl. Everything is going to be fine. Oh. All right, guys. That's the end of this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.